Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sanjana. In today's video, I'm going to be setting up my planner for the month of October. And this is the Ink Bucket Planner. So for this particular setup, I'm going to be using these Jungle Vibes stickers. Initially, I thought I'll use some sort of a fall themed um, sticker book. I have two of them and then I have some add-on stickers. But then I really want to use this book. November, I'll be using something related to Diwali and December would be more Christmas themed. So I and then January would be winter themed. So I'm not going to get a chance for quite some time to use this particular sticker book in the monthly view. I thought I'll go ahead and do it for October because just recently I decorated a weekly fall spread and I can do one more in this month or next month for the weekly theme. So let's get started. I really liked these, these particular stickers just for a couple of things that I'm gonna mark like bills or anything else i'm gonna use these for the purpose of decoration i don't know which i should i go with like animals or should i stick to there were some like leaf kind of stickers like these ones they kind of go really well with the theme that's already in here i think i'll actually do that i'll stick with the leaves and i'll bring probably just a few of these animals and not too much for one of the weekly spreads i can focus mainly on like the main thing would be around these animals so yeah let's get started i think i'll i'll start with thinking should i start with decorative ones or functional stickers let's just add a couple of these leaf stickers and then we'll go from there i love this book because it's so colorful and the colors that they've used here are quite deep it's these like orangish or reddish orange and this bright pink and the greens as well they're really deep and they look nice There's no particular reason for these stickers like where they're placed it's just purely design and i also want to make sure that wherever i'm adding these stickers i don't have anything on that particular day I was supposed to upload a video yesterday but then that didn't happen because I need some more time I'm prepping for that video it just didn't work out I'll probably stick to a five videos per week schedule like for sure if I have anything to add on then I'll just add a couple of videos but regularly I thought I'd do six but my schedule is just not allowing me to do that and i'm focusing on a few more things uh, for new year like related to content so that that kind of consumes a lot of my time when i'm not filming and i'm working on youtube stuff so i just want to be mindful about that for now i think you can expect five videos per week and that would be tuesdays to saturdays so i'm gonna take sundays and mondays off we have these and okay let's add the functional stickers i'm gonna put the baby ones first that's i just like marking these because i get an idea about okay when i'm getting paid sometimes i just it gets a little confusing so having something to refer to 
immediately will be quite helpful. It allows me to space out my purchases and if I'm just planning anything financially, it's really helpful. So I make sure I always have the paydays marked in my planner. Ah, oh, I'm searching in the budget book. It's actually the teacher's sticker book. These ones. There, there are some payday stickers in there as well, but I don't like them. So based on like my company's pay cycle, October is a three paycheck month. So it just depends on how the Fridays, how many Fridays are there in that month and when, which of those Fridays I'd be getting paid. Okay, so we have our Fridays ready. And then on 28th, it is one of my niece's birthday. And I want to use some decorative sticker. These I'm going to use for the bills. I could use these. Just something to differentiate from the other stuff. These look, I think these look really good on point with the theme. It's got some cool detailing as well. I'm going to use these. There are two birthdays that I want to mark. And then on the third, it's my brother-in-law's birthday. I'm gonna mark that over here. I just try to like off-center some of the stickers because it just looks nice than trying to make everything fit within the boxes. with the birthdays and then on 11th I have a day off I don't know if I have any like day off sticker let me just check it should be there I'm not sure though if it's there it should be in this one or I don't have it. Oh, you know what? I think I do have in the uh, Planner Kate sticker kit. Let's see here. If it isn't there, then. It is actually Thanksgiving, so should I use this sticker or should I use a day off? I think I might want to use a day off sticker. Ink forget. I have this one, but. I don't know if it's gonna go with the theme. Let's keep it aside. I'm 
I'm also waiting for the Black Friday sale next month so that I can pick up some stickers. I don't know if I will be picking as much as I picked up last year like these all of these itty stickers not all of them but majority of the itty stickers that i have were purchased during the black friday sale so i'm gonna see if if i need some if there are some new ones that i really like last year at this time i hadn't like figured out my planning style yet I was just experimenting with different themes. Sometimes I would decorate it within the theme. Sometimes I just would randomly place like stickers each day. So I don't know if, if I'll be purchasing a lot of them, but something around like if it's something around that i want to i want to do like if well it fits well within my planning style or if i find something new that you know i, I might want to try then probably i'll i'll pick them i haven't used etsy for quite some time now it's been a lot of months I just want to layer this particular sticker with something else, otherwise it's going to look odd. I might bring in these diamonds. marking for that particular day. So it's on the 11th. it in between that's fine i think it's, it looks kind of nice okay so next we move on to my builds so the first fill is on the fifth. I'm just trying to see which color I can bring on top there. I think I'm gonna get the red. So on the fifth, my home insurance. This is an automatic payment. And then on the 9th, it's already green there, so I think I'll, I'll get this lime green or yellow. Okay, on the 9th, it's my Zoom 
payment. I just use it for my coaching calls and then tarot reading sessions. I also like for work related stuff. So this again is an automatic payment. I just like to add it here so that I'm aware of know, what, what's going out of my account. Just being mindful. Even though I don't have to manually do anything. Okay. And then the remainder of my bills are like towards end of the month. On the 25th, that's my phone bill. I had set up automatic payments for this, and then from the last two or three months, I'm paying it manually. I'm not sure like what happened. I need to check and like convert to auto pay. Then on the 27th, I have a membership payment due. I think I did mention it to you guys last time that I might end up canceling it. I think I'm gonna keep it for this year and then make a decision in December. Use this. I'm still not using it as much as I want to but it's not because I'm just neglecting it or something I'm being very mindful and uh, I just don't want to add on anything that that could you know mess up my goals and my daily routine so that's the reason I'm, I don't reach out to it as much and the reason, another reason why I'm not cancelling it is because uh, currently this particular membership, they've sort of restricted the access. So if you leave, you cannot just join back anytime. It depends on when they're going to open up and stuff. So that's why I'm thinking a lot before cancelling it. And also there is... A price difference between when I joined and like what I'm paying now and what it's currently priced at so unless I'm a hundred percent sure that I no longer need it and I no longer use it in my life I'm gonna like that's why I'm just I'm just being a little bit careful about it I'll decide towards the end of this year okay and then on the I usually pay my rent on last day of each month but because it's a Sunday I'm gonna go ahead and transfer it on Friday itself because if I do it on Sunday the transaction would not go through it'll go through on Monday and I, I don't like that chores that I have. Let's mark the trash and um, recycle the stickers. This is quite helpful for me. Initially I would just add to like remind myself but it just helps me to make sure that if I have anything that I want to recycle in my room I just do it like you know regularly 
otherwise last year not last year like before moving to this place what happened was i had these bunch of things that i wanted to recycle and i waited almost towards the end when i was packing stuff and it was just too much like the bins got filled up and you know i had to get tags and add everything so just uh, adding this particular schedule in my planner has helped me make sure that i'm recycling and i'm throwing out the trash pretty regularly and it's also alternate weeks so in case if i miss recycling one week then i'll have to wait for two more weeks so i if you look back i would have waited for a month to recycle and things just accumulate if you're not doing it regularly the same goes for trash as well see a deep clean sticker but I don't know if that color would go with the theme there are like four or five colors there's this it doesn't look good this one doesn't look good this as well I think this looks fine these monthly pages I have a lot of things that I you know when I'm pre-planning for the monthly pages I keep thinking oh should I add that or should I add this and then I just decide not to add because I don't want to over complicate things and this particular um, spread is quite functional so I add a lot of things here and that's the reason I don't add much on this page. I just like to decorate the spread and go from there. You know, now that I look at it, I feel I want to bring in more color. Like I'm going to put these green ones as well. But I do want to bring in more color. I think I'll go ahead and add these animals in. covered up. I'm fine with that. You know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and add these stickers. I need color. Especially if you see like this part, it's, it's just green. And what I've also noticed is I usually don't add a lot of stuff after i'm done planning it's just i use this for reference once i'm done you know filming these uh, calendar pages for you guys i rarely add stuff i used to add my yoga tracker here and like i mentioned in september dashboard setup habit trackers it just doesn't work for me i'm more comfortable just doing and not tracking that's that works out well I want something here. 
something here let's get the green one here because there's a lot of like pinks and reds and blues Earlier I just felt it was it was too much of green. This just helps break the pattern by adding a green stick or there. these ones as well just to add more color i want something here but there's this green there's this green there's red as well so i don't know what to add i could add the elephant I'm quite happy with the way this turned out. I actually thought uh, this thing would sort of look very different to what I'm gonna do here, but I feel with the help of these pinks and you know teal, it sort of like matches this. It pulls down the color from there, and some of these leaves as well look alike. So I'm quite happy and also this sticker book, I really wanted to use it ever since I bought it and I was just holding on to it. I thought I'll use it for November but then I remembered to uh, have Diwali and I wanted to decorate it like, for it to look more Indian way rather than uh, any other theme. So yeah i hope you know you enjoyed watching this video i don't know when you guys watch it do you guys watch it like while you're planning or while you're doing something else or just before you go to bed but yeah anyways um i'll leave you guys here and i'll be back with the dashboard set up in my next video thanks a lot for watching bye